All right, good, good morning, 6.52. Mm -hmm. We're joined this morning by Glenn Lyman, um, chef and owner of G Cooks. And uh, we're talking about sort of a guy's thing, nachos. I mean, I'm sold on them and everything. Guys but thing. Guys that you know, <laughs> I, I mean, who doesn't love until nachos? The cows come home. But, but, you know, this is perfect for, say, maybe a March Madness yeah. thing, which does tend to be, you know, a little guy-focused. And it's nice and simple. Which is perfect to guy food. Simple is cool. And this is the best time of the year. This is March Madness. I tell you, if it's a guy's party, that's okay. But if the girls are there, that's fine too. And I'll, but if it's just okay. the guys, here's a tip. First tip of the day. Okay. You know that really pretty vase you got with the flowers that match your team color red on it? Uh -huh. Get that Get off the of table. It. And you replace that with a paper towel roll. Excellent. You're like be master, we're going to have to do it. So keep that as your deal. centerpiece for you having a fun day too. Um, so nachos are a fun one. This is um, probably the biggest party plate you could probably imagine any kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, may be an, you may be a bracket buster favorite. You may be like in your team, maybe do whatever you want. Maybe you're latching on to the Cinderella story, you don't know what it might be. Right. But uh, you gotta cook food, you gotta feed the crowd, you want it to be one big easy dish. So this is what we do. We got uh, barbecue pork nachos, but you could also do this with chicken, you can also Yum. do this with beef or anything you want to. Yum. Or make it vegetarian if you have that in you too. So. Well, and you do, when you do it that way, it's not just some cheese on some chips. I mean, it makes it more of like a really good, it can be almost a meal. It's hard. No one gets their own plate. Pretty much everyone just stands around the whole bowl and just eats and eats and eats. And just, it's social. Yeah, and down in front, get out of the way of the big screen TV. That's what you're <laughs> Helps you soak up some of the stuff you're um, yeah, imbibing. Beautiful. I'm too. gonna tell you what we got too. So we got some uh, some barbecue pork, and this is one. This is another big tip of the day: is if you want to spend your whole day in the kitchen, three or four hours, you're gonna be cooking pork. If you want to watch your game, you don't do it. Uh, I go to BJ's Wholesale Club, and I get all my stuff. It's cups and plates and bowls and sauce and chips, and then they got these really neat, uh, just heat and serve pub style meals oh. that we put. Um, and make the game viewing a little bit easier for you. Okay, so that's all. It's that's the one you have there is pulled chicken. This is the pulled pork, right, and pulled it's pork. all done and ready to go. You just, just gotta heat, heat it up. Serve. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna put this wow. together for you right now. Should so we start stir stirring this cheese yet? Please do so it doesn't right. get all goopy. But <laughs> all goopy. Is all that goopy. a technical chef term? <laughs> I love the goopy word. That's right. <laughs> so um, do you like big crunchy chips or do you like little chips? Like how do you? I like them big, and big and crunchy and huge and a big poly that makes it go. You know, my wife we eat these at home. She breaks every chip in this little piece yeah. and she puts it all thing. I'm like, what do you? Because we're girls who are delicate. Oh, you're delicate. Your team's on. You gotta go crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking a beer and having some pork nachos. Well, there you too. go. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cover a little bit of the barbecue. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna give a little bit of my G Cooks Fiesta Blast. Season. Yeah, tell me about the Fiesta What's Blast. In there? Oh, there's a it lot. Smells of, good. Yeah, this is kind of like the, you put in chili and tacos and like, enchiladas and that kind of thing. Mm. You guys get a good whiff. Oh, I'll that smells it. good. Ooh, I smell. I know you like it spicy too. Smells like kick. It's a little bit smoky. In there. That's so let's make thing. this look pretty. It doesn't have to be an ugly dish when you have a guy okay, party okay. like this too. So we, we got a pork on there right now. We're gonna put a little bit of melted cheese. This is nacho cheese, queso cheese. Um, I heard you say a little bit of cheese. That had to have been a, a mis <laughs> misquote, right? It definitely not it was, because I know if you like it spicy, you'd like a cheesy cheese. <laughs> so we're going to put a little bit of that cheese oh, on there. Oh, look at that. Is that I like your definition so of a little bit of cheese? I think white American is a great one to do. You melt it down a little bit of milk. That's probably a great way to do oh. it. You can buy the Mexican cheese. It's already made. Mm -hmm. um, nothing crumbly. You want it to be a real soft cheese. It's going to mm -hmm. melt real nice, too. Okay. Um, after that, we'll put a little bit of barbecue sauce. Yum. Get your favorite one that you like. If you make your own, that's really awesome. Do you make your own? Usually I do, but this one was available at, at BJ's and it's awesome. Okay. This is one of my go-to's. Sweet baby yes. Sweet baby it's rays. I like one. it too. We have that in our So fridge. now we're building our big giant dish. Let's okay. make it. Um, that looks kick up the heat, sir. You want to do the kick up the heat? Okay, jalapeno peppers. <laughs> these are pickled. You could use fresh if you want. You can add some color and you can add some definitely a lot of heat. Yeah. So when you're grabbing these one at a time, you can pick how hot you want it. Okay, good. Oh, let's make it really hot. <laughs> you should do that. And when, and when you say that, you can really just dump that whole thing in there and I'll be happy. <laughs> oh, you're awesome. <laughs> but I'll be sad. So let's. <laughs> okay, let's say I have so a happy meeting, right? I'm, I'm split in the middle, you two. We got to make this right. Everyone get along now. Everyone get along. Now, this is a little sour cream. I put it in this huh. container to make it look okay. a little bit pretty, too. But we can also put a little bit of sour cream. Oh, fancy. Wait. This is making me so hungry. This is my team. I'll do a U and a D. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Who's your teams you guys like? Anyone still? Mm. Um, mine, were, mine weren't even in the 25, so. It stops already, too. <laughs> so so it was is, already over before it started. This is the first time in a long time that my team's in, so I'm going to watch uh -huh. tonight, too. We'll, we'll root for Dayton just for you. Oh, uh, it's the University of Dayton. Sorry, the, we'll root for the <laughs> University <laughs> of Dayton. We stand corrected. We have a lot of fun tonight, too. <laughs> And a little bit more of that Fiesta Blast seasoning. Uh, Chef, by the way, has given us the recipe for all of this and tips and all kinds of things for really good nachos at your house. We have put it on our website, WBTV.com. It is there for us. Can we taste yet? Please do. This looks right. so stinking so yummy. Excited. I can't even stand it. <laughs> this and is I'm the breakfast of chips. It, it is. Like I mean, Make it hot. Tell me what you think. Here. Coffee Heck, and pork nachos. Is. Good. I'm glad you are. You hey, it is uh, 6.57 on the Saturday morning. We're going to be right back after this. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. So good. <laughs> Go flyer. Mm -hmm.